Oh, that's beautiful. I love it. Nice. This is great. I'm still courting or dating Erin. Like she's, um, she's still my dream girl. And so, you know, every morning. He tries I, to impress me with something every day. And then I, I try to remember to do things that make his life a little easier every yeah. day. And if you can do those things, uh, I think a healthy marriage is in the little things. That's good stuff, you guys. We gotta take that wall down. I've got a hammer. I'm ready. As the hosts of the hit HGTV series, Hometown, Ben and Aaron Napier have been restoring historic houses in Laurel, Mississippi since 2016. We just wanna give all the old houses some love. While season five premieres on January 3rd, 2021, the Napiers are also about to take on a brand new challenge, renovating the entire town of Wetumpka, Alabama for their spinoff series, Hometown Takeover. 2021 will be a big year for us with season five and Hometown Takeover. We've never done two shows at the same time, so that's a new thing. Yeah, that is a that is a new thing. <laughs> that is a new thing. That's been a very big learning curve. Yeah, um, so that'll be, I mean, I hope that that brings great things. I hope that Wetumpka sees a lot of positive impact from it. It's I been think fun. That, I think that America and the, the world is gonna fall in love with yeah, Wetumpka. Yeah, I think so too. Just like they have Laurel. Uh, it's a really cool town, and we're getting to do some really great stuff there. But two TV shows aren't the only things keeping Ben and Aaron busy. They've also got their hands full with their soon-to-be three-year-old daughter, Helen. I like that chair. You like that chair? I like it too, baby. Her birthday is January 3rd, which is... The premiere of, the season, premiere of five. season five. Yep. And I don't know if, if HGTV knew that or if they planned it, but we're really excited about it because that'll be a pretty fun birthday party. Yeah, we may even let her stay up late enough to watch it, maybe. We want to keep her away from screens until it's absolutely impossible. That's the goal. That's yeah. how we grew up and it was a, a magical childhood, you know? Yeah, I, kind of our rule with watching TV is, well, when we were potty training, that it was treated like a, a reward, you know? It was like, if you go and potty and you don't have an accident, you can watch an episode of uh, Word Party. And then anything that's got music or dance. Yeah, we let her watch it, musicals and dance stuff, and we'll I feel let like her watch that's that. okay. Yeah. Yay! When I was young, I was picked on a lot, and I wish that there had been somebody who was not afraid to sit with me in the lunchroom. I want her to be that kid. I want her to not be afraid of being an outcast if she sits with the one who sits alone. I want her to be a good friend. That's what I really, really hope. That's our goal there. And then um, just nurturing creativity in her. Yeah. Um, I want her to learn woodworking and I hope she wants to learn painting. I, I want her to learn how to do things with her hands. I think that's undervalued now. Like even if she ends up being an accountant, I still wanted to know something about music and art and yeah. making things. For Ben and Aaron, juggling family and work life is never easy, but there's no question what comes first. We say no to a lot of opportunities. That's what I was gonna say. We just have to say no to a lot because um, we'll be her parents for, for 18 years, we get to be an influence in her life and then that's it and you, you do the best you can and then they leave. And I just want those 18 years to be really good and happy and healthy and we can't get them back. I mean, no matter how great a work opportunity is that may make us, you know, however amount, whatever amount of money doesn't equal that small window we get with Helen. So we just yeah. wanna make sure that we, first of all, keep what she knows about what we do as normal as possible, you know. It's just a job. Yeah. That's all it is, it's just a job. So we wanna keep that as normal as possible. So I don't, I don't know how you do that as they get older and learn more. I guess we'll uh, learn it and make it up as we go. Ben and Aaron first met in college back in 2005, and in 2008, they married. Today, after 12 years of marriage and four years on HGTV, the Napiers have a pretty good idea what makes their partnership work. We fill in each other's gaps. That's well, we know each other really, really well. And yeah, we stand in the gaps for each other. Yeah. Where I am weak, he is strong, 
and vice versa. I can't work out logistics of things in my mind. As, I mean, with, with work, renovations, with life, with backing a car up into a parking spot. I can't, my mind doesn't organize logistically very well. And he yeah. does, he's like a computer. He just logistically knows exactly what steps we need to do to make something the simplest it can be. Well, and to a point, but then also like, it's like, I don't know if it would be small picture is what I see. Like Aaron sees where we need to be and I can see how to get there. Yeah, that's fair. And uh, he's bad at time management. I'm very good at that. <laughs> yeah, if you'll notice during this interview, Aaron, every now and then. I'm giving him some nudges when it's like, mm, you're saying a lot. Wrap that up. <laughs> yes. Don't yes. choke me. No. Don't you choke me. Choke him. Choke him. Everybody fights. Yeah, it's, but it's that our it's fights. how you fight. How our, you fight is what matters. Yeah. Our fights are never... Aaron and I, this is one thing that we talk about a lot. We say that we we overshare. Like we yeah. tell, and I mean, and that's, it's cliche to say that like, you know, oh, you tell your spouse. Communication is key. Tell your spouse everything, but we literally. But we actually do that. And so if you know everything, then there's very little to disagree about. So then the fights are small. They're not like, you know. Yeah. There's not a blow up. It's yeah. a little, and then you fix it and you talk about it. But we're together 24 hours a day. So we have plenty of opportunity to talk about stuff. <laughs> yeah. He leaves his size 14 work boots in like... Random places. And I fall over them and break my toes. But uh, other than that... But I'm trying to get... I mess up too. That's something that I've learned from Helen. No, I'm going to. That's something that I've learned from <laughs> Helen. Helen walks in the door, sits down and takes her shoes off and she'll tell me to take my shoes off. And she knows what's up. And she says, Daddy, you'll track dirt into the house. Take your boots off. And I'm like, oh, okay. So I've gotten a lot better at that. Yes. Um, but when we first got married, Erin didn't want to seem like a nagger. Like she didn't want to nag me about things, but she would hint at things. Like the garbage sure is getting full. And I would like not take the garbage out because of that. I have to say... Take the trash out, please. Yeah. <laughs> and, um, yeah. And I've also told her, like, if you tell me to do things, if you have, you know, a honey-do list, if it's spoken to me, I'll never get it done. If you write it down... It's a game. Then it becomes a game for me, and I want... And it'll be done by 10 o'clock on Saturday morning. The whole list. It's so, awesome. So write it down. That's that's the answer. Write so that's down. our fights, America. That's no. it. Ready? One, One two, two, three. three. That's about it all you're going to get out of me. <laughs> That's pretty good. We're not like fancy Hollywood people. You know, we're in, we're in Laurel, Mississippi. And that's the 100% truth. Yeah. And we never leave it. <laughs> so... I mean, um, everybody's famous in a small town. You know what I'm saying? We're not really, nobody here thinks of it. People who grew up here don't think of us as famous at all. So we don't ever feel like we are. By just being their humble, charming selves, the Napiers have built a strong, heartfelt connection with their fans. A woman messaged me and she said, I'm in the hospital. I am very, very sick. She couldn't have any visitors and she was completely alone, and she was so scared, and she said that we stayed with her through it all in the hospital. HGTV was on, and it was me and Ben who kept her comforted, and it was like, I could just like cry talking about it, but the show, yeah. it's more than a home renovation show to, to the people that watch it, I think, and what a gift. We are so blessed to get to be a part of something like that because, I mean, we're just the face of it, and there's like, our camera team that's standing here that we work with every day, they're the ones who make it beautiful, who actually create it, and we just give it a voice, I guess, but... Um, yeah, I mean, we're kind of like the, the mascots of this thing. That, yeah. That, uh, but we're not the, the whole team. And yeah, we're not the, the linebacker or the, the quarterback or anything, we're, or even the coach. That's the thing. It's like, we're not even the one that's calling the shots. We're just the face of it, and um, it's, it's a big honor to get to be a part of a this. A huge honor. And especially yeah. when we get messages like those. 
And we got a dozen of those every day from people who said, you just kept me company in the hospital. And it's something I never would have thought of. Ah, oh, that's it. This is the great thing about what has happened is uh, we never planned any of this. Not one thing that's happened in our life was planned. And so I'd like to just keep doing it that way. Truly, do the best you can and don't worry about it. That's right. Ben's parents had a friend who always said that, and it's a good way to live. Opportunities come, and if it feels like it's a good fit for us, collaborative, that could be something that works out long-term for the future for us, we say yes, we explore that and see where it takes us. And that's how the show has been and every other good thing that ever happened. Like Helen, I mean, the best things are not planned, and we don't have a plan. That's the yeah. truth. <laughs>